In this police car, the two women, Connie Balayo and Mary Viangine, were brought to the CID headquarters. It was 11 a.m., and even they could not know that it was to be a long, cumbersome day. The long arm of the law has just started for these two women and their colleague, Bosco Agaba, who did not turn up. Getting out of the car was an unwanted affair because they were shy in facing the cameras. But come out, they had to. Mary tried to cover her face with a jacket, but when the effort became futile, she gave up. For Connie Balayo, quitting was not an option. All these are employees of the Ministry of Health, alleged to have squandered unknown amounts of money from the Global Fund for the malaria control program of 78 billion shillings for the financial year 2010-2011, when there were the principal officers responsible for receiving the funds. After instituting an internal audit, the permanent secretary, Dr. Suman Lokwago, discovered some irregularities. Police this Monday raided them from their offices and took them to CID offices to record their statements. They have been grilled for over eight hours in the hope of discovering the exact amount that was lost when the three allegedly overdrew on advances. This evening, they have been released on police bond after denying the charges. Still regarding matters health, at the CID headquarters was also the executive secretary and registrar of the National Drug Authority, Gordon Sematiko, being interrogated for allegedly causing financial loss and abuse of office. Police investigations continue. Florence Dalimba, NTV.